Okay, so that in this video, what we are going to do is we're going to take some data that we're going to be able to crunch and be able to talk about um, the various work, which is force times distance, kinetic energy, which is one half mass times velocity squared, and potential energy, which is mass times gravity times height. So let's go through those um, sort of one at a time. Force, okay, work is force times distance. So what force is it going to take for me to pull this up the incline? So I sort of pull up the incline and I got my 5 Newton spring scale and it seems to be a pretty consistent, I'd say 2.75. So it's taking me 2.75 Newtons of force to roll this part up this incline. Well, how far up the incline? The, uh, the next question is what's the distance? Because it's working with four times distance. So let's say I'm going to go to there. So let's measure how far it is to go from this position to up there. So I have my little meter tape, and I start there, pull it out down here. And I figured that I am just, I'm going to call it 126 centimeters hard to say, 126 centimeters. I'll call it 126 centimeters. So there is my distance. Okay, so we can do force times distance and we'll do that uh, at the desk. Now, kinetic energy. So one half m v squared. Well, we need to know what m is. So I have my little scale here, and I'm going to put the brick on like that, and I'm going to put my card on like that, and I'm going to get that it is 2.31 kilograms. So the mass that I have is 2.31 kilograms. Now, figuring out what the velocity is, it's kind of hard to figure out what the velocity is going to be. I don't have a nice little speed gun um, to measure sort of the instantaneous velocity. So we're going to have to go and we're going to have to calculate that. Um, and the way we're going to calculate that is we're going to say, well, suppose it is going to track down that 1.26 meters and it starts at the velocity of zero, and it's going to accelerate smoothly, we can figure out what its final velocity is going to be. So I'm going to take a time measurement. I'm going to go three, two, one, go. And I got 1.50 seconds is what I have on my stopwatch. So that 1.50 seconds, we're going to be able to throw that into some equations and calculate a final velocity um, which will go into our kinetic energy equation. Now, so what do we have? We've got, the last thing we have to do is our potential energy. Potential energy is going to be mass, which we already know. Gravity, which we already know is negative 9.81 meters per second squared. And then we're going to need to know height. Well, there's a lot of ways that I can sort of do this from, but I think that in general it's going to sort of, it's going to start there and it's going to go there. So if I can, so all things being equal, since it's all straight lines, if I can measure how far this corner is off of the table, I know that this corner, well, that's a good question. So. I'm going to have to figure out that corner right there is zero off of the table. So if I come up over here, 
that means that it's moved up to this point right here. I'm going to mark it. So I'm going to figure out how far that piece is off the table. And that's going to give me a pretty good approximation of what height it traveled in the vertical direction. And I'm going to come up with 14 centimeters. So I've got my mass is 2.31 kilograms, my distance is 1.26 meters, my height is 0.14 meters, my force is 2.75 newtons to haul it up the incline, and my time for it to drop was 1.5 seconds. So we're going to go back to the desk and we're going to start crunching some numbers on that.